morning. My name is Sarah Dugan. We're at Longdale Elementary School. This is my fourth grade classroom and we will be reviewing division today. All right, friends, let's go ahead and discuss our learning target for today. Please read that for me, Camden. Good. Can you please tell me how you will be successful? Mackenzie? I will be successful by using division properly and accurately when creating my division house. Okay. Two questions that we need to go over just because we have not gone over division in a while, so we absolutely need to review. Just save and read the first one. What is the term for the answer to a division problem? Do you know that answer? Grayson, can you please say that louder? Quotient. Very good. Quotient. Number two. Willow. What does it mean to have a remainder in a division? Think about that question for a minute. What does it mean to have a remainder? What exactly does that mean? Lazarus. Can someone repeat what he just said? He is absolutely correct. Christopher. Close. Lazarus, repeat that one more time. You don't, it's pieces that you cannot put in a group. Aiden. It's pieces that you cannot put in a group. Equally. Equally. It's your leftover piece, pieces, right? So like if you bake a batch of cookies and you have a couple pieces left over, you can't give extras, right? right? So you just take them home and keep them for yourself. <laughs> All righty. We need to review division because it has been a very, very long time. Please read it with me. One, two, three. The, the local, local library donated 132 books to Miss Dugan's class library. Yay. We have six shelves for the books. How many books can she put on each shelf equally? The way I know that's division is because I have a total, right? And I want to put it into different groups. What are my groups in this scenario? Bryce. Your groups are books. We have all. Um, you have 132 books and you have to put them into six groups. Okay, what are my groups? Um, Not my books. Shelves? My shelves are my group. So, in our journals, please set up your KWS chart. Janiya, under the K part, what does the K stand for? What I know. What do I know? What do I know? <clears throat> Tiaria. You know that um, the local library donated 132 books? Good. I know I'm getting books. Short, simple, making sure I know what's going on in my problem. Books. Okay, what do I know about my numbers? Just Avian. You have, you have 132 shelves. I mean, 132 books. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and write that first. 132 means my books. Remember, we need to associate that number with an item. And then I have one more number. Isaac. Um, you have six shelves. I have six shelves. Do me a favor and under the W, write what I want to figure out. What's my question? Go ahead and write that piece for me. Remember the way to figure that out is to just reread the question. Do you understand what it's asking you to do?
Janelle, can you share with us what you wrote? I wrote, how many books can she put on each shelf equally? Very good. How many books on each shelf? And that keyword, equally, right? So the way I'm going to solve is I'm splitting them into groups. What is that called when I split something into equal groups? What operation helps me split into equal groups? I'll give you a hint. It's what we're doing today. When we're splitting up numbers. Nyla. Division. So I'm going to divide. 132 divided by 6. Put your pencils down so I know that you are ready to go. When you're finished. Couple people still working? Okay, should you be solving it? No. Not yet. All right. So we are going to do this part together just to review, okay? Yes. All right. 132 divided by 6. So make sure you have a nice big piece of paper. Remember, because our math work needs to be very nice and organized. Once you have this set up, give me a thumbs up. First step. Asia. What do I? I know it's been a while. What do we normally write down? It's okay. It's been a while. Can I come back to you for a different question? Um, Aiden. Write down your steps. My steps. Okay. Do you remember what we say? You do? If you remember, say it with me. Does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? The D stands for? Divide. M? Multiply. S? Compare. Ooh. Check. And? Compare. B? Bring down. Remainder or repeat. Make sure you have that written down. Excellent job. I can tell you've been remembering that. It's a good thing that it's sticking in your brains. All right, friends, so what is our next step? Grayson, write down, write down our multiplication steps. One times six is six. six. Two times six, twelve. twelve. Three times six, eighteen. Can you please write down the rest? Wow, your multiplication facts have gotten so much better. I can tell you've been working on them. So much better. I'm impressed.
double check, make sure yours are correct. Take about 30 more seconds. Double check yours with mine, please. All right, friends, let's get going. First step is to divide. Six <coughs> into one. Can I do it? No. Can I get a group of six out of 13 items? Yes. yes, I can. How many groups of six can I get out of 13 items? Everyone? Two. Two, because two groups of six is? 12. 12. We just multiply. So my next step is to now subtract. 13 minus 12 is 1. Beautiful. Next step is to check and compare. Is 6 bigger than 1? Yes. Do I have anything to bring down? Yes. My 2. So I need to repeat the process. Divide. How many groups of six can I take out of 12? Everybody? Two. two. Multiply. Two groups of six is? Twelve. Excellent. My next step is to? Subtract. Twelve minus twelve is? Zero. Next step is to compare. Is six bigger than zero? Yes. Do I have anything to bring down? No. Do I need to repeat? No. And do I have a remainder? Yes. How many books go on each shelf? Isaac? 22. And I believe someone told me that the answer to a division problem was called... Camden? A a quotient, so my quotient is 22 bucks. You did an amazing job on this word problem today. Please close your math journal. Please put them away. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our math lesson today at Longdale Elementary School. Go Tigers!